Sustainability is such a catchphrase right now in the last 20 years, but we break it down to a simple noun. Basically, it means that we are sustaining an environment so we can continue at this level. So as we approach the most sustainable arena in the world, you had to break down every approach you've ever used in the past and reconfigure it. We are literally being a part of a movement that is going to create monumental moments for generations to come. As we approach this project, we really had to be mindful in every way possible. And it wasn't just going at what's the best cost, what's the best product, it was the people behind it. And so when I met Austin, it was an instant chemistry because we all valued the same thing. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors in the food industry, and this is a transparent relationship that we have with our community, where we're waving our hands saying, we don't have all the answers, but we're gonna go out to the farms, we're gonna break bread with people, and we're gonna humanize this experience and talk potatoes, talk beef, and we're gonna talk about how we do this better. My dad started potato farming, it worked into apples and cherries, and then naturally, we needed ruminants or cattle to be a part of the equation in order to do it more sustainably. Uh, we farm in Royal City, Washington, which is in central Washington, right in between Seattle and Spokane. The Columbia River brings life to this area of Washington and allows us to do what we need to do in order to create a whole bunch of food for a whole bunch of people. Well, sustainability to me is this concept of really facilitating greater photosynthesis, because what that does is that pulls carbon out of the air where it's in excess, and it puts it into the soil where it's in a shortage. Molly D and I, I think we, we really are kindred spirits. We really connected over our shared goals and the different concepts that we are both so passionate about. And I think that really is centered around having a really positive impact for not just our communities, but even beyond. It's so important for me as a chef who has the responsibility to properly communicate with our community to understand what we're talking about. So it really means me showing up to places like Royal Ranch and getting my hands dirty and understanding it from Austin and Royal Ranch's perspective. There's lots of misinformation about where our food comes from and how our food's grown. And so we've been able to use the blockchain in order to track the animal from the time they were born, in order to track not just their carbon footprint, but really everything in their life. And Climate Pledge Arena and Molly D and everything that they're doing, that's really an important piece to doing this at a scale that again has this massive impact in the world. So we like to slow the process down, which doesn't typically happen in this large of a venue, but I want every menu item to be carefully curated. So we take the short ribs, we're doing a hot pan sear and actually the beef fat that comes from Royal Ranch, which adds another element. And then we are going to slow cook it with some red wine, some oranges. What's really exciting for arenas and stadiums is that our guests are pushing us to be better. And I love it, I welcome it. For example, here at Climate Pledge Arena, we have a five course speakeasy that's curated to the event. We have four restaurants, 19 marketplaces, 59 suites, and you're going to have a different experience in each of those locations when it comes to our beef program. I want our guests to know as they walk into the most sustainable arena in the world, that they are going to enjoy the best beef, not just from a quality perspective, but from a sustainability perspective, because Royal Ranch completely understands the dire need to look at how we are doing agriculture and cattle in this country. Beef, Beef. It's, it's what's, what's for, for dinner. dinner.